Hey guys, this is Tom from Tom Build Stuff, and today I'm going to go over Klein's different modular crimpers for terminating Ethernet and telephone patch cables. Right now, two of them are heavily discounted, and one is a steel. Klein currently has three modular crimpers you can buy. All of them can crimp both RJ45 8P8C plugs, primarily used for networking, and RJ1112, which are used for analog telephones. They all have a stripper and a cutter too. All of them cost about $45 when they first came out, but two are severely discounted. There's VDV 226-011-SEN. This is the large ratchet and crimper. It's currently selling for under $30. This is VDV 226-107. This is the compact ratchet and crimper, which is currently selling for around $20. VDV 226-110 is the newest model that Klein has come out with. It works with pass-through modular plugs and sells for $45. The large ratchet and crimper is the first crimper I bought. I used it for a while and I quickly started noticing problems. The crimper crushes the tab on the top of the modular network plugs. The plug doesn't lock into the port as a result. You can see here on this modular plug that I already crimped, when I try to insert it into the keystone jack, it just pulls right out. Sometimes I could bend the tab up and it'll lock but not always and it's not really a problem i wanted to deal with with every crimp and as you see as i try to put it in again it just comes back out I'm not sure what the problem is i got a cheap bag of 100 connectors from amazon it's not a brand name i recognize but it had good reviews maybe the issues with the connectors but i'd still like to have a crimper that is versatile it worked fine with some klein brand rj11 modular plugs i also used I noticed a lot of other reviews also had the same problem with this crimper, so I went to look for something else. That's when I got this VDV226-107 compact modular crimper. I like it better because it fits easier in my bag. It doesn't take up a lot of space. It's easier to use. It has the markings on the side, the wiring diagrams on the side for RJ45, uh, T568, B, and A also has RJ11, 6P, 6C for a phone, and this, the old uh, black, red, green, yellow phone wiring as well, if you need to crimp those. has a cutter, has the stripper. I don't normally use a stripper on any of these, though. This is a plug I just crimped, and I'm using the same keystone jack here, and you could hear it click right into place, and it doesn't pull out. Press the tab. And then I could click it back in. I use this crimper to do all the patch cords for my structured media panel, as well as for all my devices. It works great and I highly recommend it. If you're doing a wiring project or just want to have a modular or crimper to add to your tool bag, you know, phone wiring, ethernet wiring are things you have to deal with a lot these days. I would highly recommend getting this one. And it's only $19 right now. I don't know how long this price will last. And I think this may even be discontinued in the future. Klein makes great tools and to get a Klein crimper at this price is an amazing deal. There's a link in the description to where I saw this price. Finally is Klein's pass-through modular crimper. I don't own this one so I can show it live in the video. But it looks exactly like the compact crimper with some other features in it. So I feel pretty confident about it because I love the compact crimper. It also has pretty good reviews from what I've seen. Pass-through plugs have holes in the ends that let the wires pass through them. There were some reviews that indicated wires 1 and 8 sometimes didn't get cut clean off, but for the most part, people were happy with it. Some people also complained about the strippers. I don't use the strippers on any of these. I normally just use my electrician's snips. It makes it easier and faster to terminate patch cords if you're using pass-through plugs because you don't have to snip the ends of the wires before inserting them into the plug. You can also identify any mistakes in the wiring more easily before you crimp compared to traditional plugs. The plugs in the crimper is more expensive, but for professionals and serious DIYers, the pass-through crimper VDV226-110 is the obvious choice. If you're on a budget, or a modular crimper is something you wish you had but didn't want to spend a lot of money on, or you didn't want to buy a cheap one that wound up being crap, this compact non-pass-through crimper VDV226-107 is an awesome deal, especially at $19 right now. It works well, it's made well by a company that has a stellar reputation and great customer service, and I've done dozens of terminations with it.